Hey everybody, it's Allison Haikila. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are gonna do something really fun called zero drawing. I have done this before in the past and it is just a really cool technique. You don't need to put in a lot of effort. Um, it's just really fun. So let's get started. We're gonna use a charcoal pencil, any old charcoal pencil. I've got my mono Tombow eraser and then this really tiny mono zero, which is also from Tombow. It works like a pencil a mechanical pencil so you can just push the eraser forward and pop it back in if you're done with it um, and really we don't need much more a little sandpaper I've got some Canson mixed media XL paper that I'm working on this is the neuro doodles supernova stencil from a colorful life designs which I have applied some pixie spray to it really helps with this technique Here's my sandpaper it's nice and coarse and then you're also going to want to have a sponge dauber so you can see here that I am just scraping my charcoal pencil across the sandpaper and I'm going to take the sponge dauber and just rub all of that fabulous charcoal into my paper. Um, this is a very forgiving technique. It's a little bit messy, but not too bad. There's plenty of other things out there that are much messier than this. Um, but again, the effects are really cool. There's no coloring involved um, and it's just... It's cool. I had done that card that I showed in the beginning with the Nautilus stencil, which is also from A Colorful Life Designs, and people had not seen this technique. It was something that I hadn't done in many years, and I thought it was time to bring it back, and a few people asked how it was done, so I have been meaning to make this video for a long time. You can see I'm just adding some more of that charcoal, rubbing it in really good. Keep in mind that this stuff comes off very easily and we'll have we'll have a way to seal it later on I'll show you later but right now I'm just applying that stencil again there's pixie spray on the back and once it's in place all you got to do is erase that's why it's called zero drawing we're removing that color it's kind of like a reverse stenciling um, I've been doing that a lot lately you'll see in another video soon but it's pretty cool uh, you just rub it carefully. You want to be careful of your stencils depending on how delicate it is. And, you know, keep in mind the different sized spaces that you have, which is one of the reasons why I have the big Tombow Mono and then the small Tombow Zero. Um, you can get refills for the Tombow Zero, which is great. I know that they have them at Blick. And I think I'm going to need some more of that soon because I might start doing this technique again. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So I really like using this with organic shapes. It's fantastic for Halloween stencils. I had done a jack-o'-lantern stencil a long, long time ago. I'll have links to uh, two of the zero drawing cards I've made in the description box, so make sure you check that out. But really, this is it. You're just going to go in and erase those open areas from your stencil. You just want to be careful that you don't bend your stencil, you know, um, tear it at all. Mylar is pretty durable, but it can crimp and bend. And just carefully wipe away those eraser bits that you have left on your page. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you how I erase the entire thing. <laughs> but you should definitely give this a shot, especially if you want to do masculine cards. This is awesome for masculine cards. You don't have to worry about what color combos you want to use. You don't need to worry about, you know, styles and themes. This works with pretty much anything. Although, again, I do really like how this comes out with organic shapes. So here it is all done. And the big reveal. Doesn't that look cool? Just as is. It's just awesome. I love how that came out. So you can go back in with your zero eraser and just, you know, Add in the details that you may not have been able to get because the dots on this particular stencil are pretty small in some areas. If you feel like you need to clean up any lines, the zero eraser is really great for that. And as I mentioned, this stuff does come off very easily, the charcoal. And you can blend it really easily with your fingers. So you definitely want to give it a good spray. I don't usually seal my projects, but in this case, it is really helpful to use like a matte finish on there. And it takes only a few minutes to dry. Just make sure you're doing it in a well-ventilated area. 
You can see here that I am just adding a sentiment from Pink Fresh Studios, Perfect Sentiment Set. You're a great friend. It's just perfect, right? <laughs> and then we're gonna just glue it down. I grabbed that paper towel only so that you can see um, where I'm adding it to my card base just because my glass board is black and the card base that I chose is black as well. I've got some Barely Arts glue here and I'm just gonna add that on there. And this is a really simple card to make. It doesn't take a lot of time. It's so nice to just remove that color or the, the charcoal and see that finished result without a whole lot of effort. And I hope that you'll give it a shot because it's, it's a lot of fun. It's one of those things you don't have to think too much about. You know, sometimes you just need to do something simple, but wow, the impact that you get from this type of card, it, because it's so different from other things that you're seeing out there, especially right now. Like I said, I haven't seen anybody do this in a while. So I hope that you like this technique. Here is the other one that I did with the Nautilus stencil. That was with another sentiment from that same Pink Fresh Studio set. So that's it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe, be well, peace out.